Hey everybody, welcome to Forever Active. I'm Roberto. I'm Linda, and this is our perfect posture workout. We're glad you're joining us today. Absolutely, so for this class, you're not gonna need any equipment, just yourself and a chair. Don't forget to have water close by, and let's get started. Let's do it. Absolutely. So we're going to start actually working from the ground up. So we're going to start from your feet today. All right. Um, Linda's going to face you, but I'm going to actually kind of be a little bit off to the side so you can see what's happening posture wise. All right. First exercise we're going to do today is called the foot rockers. All right. So we're going to stand with your feet shoulders width apart, chest up, shoulders down, spine is long. All right, and then what we're going to do, we're going to start swaying our uh, center of gravity forward and then backwards. And you're going to start kind of, again, rocking on your feet. You're going to transfer the weight to the back, to your heels, then to the front. And we're trying to find that middle ground, right, for both the front and the back. And as you keep doing this, you're going to start actually lifting up on the ball of your feet a little bit and then coming back and lifting the toes and then back up. And then if you like, as you go back, you're gonna bring your hands in front and as you go forward, you bring your hands back. And let's do that a few more times. Again, rocking the weight front and back. Beautiful, gaze is forward, chest is up, shoulders down. Let's do that three more times. That's two more. And that's one more. And then let's find that center, the middle point right there. Beautiful. I'm going to turn around, relax right now. Second thing we're going to do, we're going to actually do an exercise that's going to help us find the neutral position for your feet. Okay? So the way to do that is start with your feet shoulders width apart. Okay? Make sure your feet are parallel, so heel behind your toes. And then imagine that you're standing on a newspaper and you want to tear the newspaper apart with your feet. We're going to do that three seconds on, re relax for three seconds. Ready? So sure. let's tear this new paper apart. Three, two, one, relax. And again, ready? Tear the newspaper apart. As you do that, you can feel the outside of your legs getting active right totally release and then again also you, what happens your glutes will get fire as we are engaging basically all the muscles on the outside of your leg let's do that two more time tear the newspaper apart okay you should be able again to carry a conversation remember the rate of perceived exertion right now should be like a five maybe a six but definitely no higher than that release let's do that one last time ready let's tear the newspaper apart okay you're kind of almost like rolling on the outside of your feet but then you're gonna relax bring it back in and then now let's try to find that neutral position where you are in perfect alignment between the outside and the inside of your feet and then relax great job everybody all right let's move up now down to your shoulders all right so we're going to start by bringing the shoulders forward, bringing the shoulder up towards your ear, then back, and then all the way down, and then relax. And again, forward, up, back, drop them down. That feels great. Let's do that again. Forward, up, back, and down. When you bring them up, Really try to bring the shoulders as close to your ears as possible, then bring them back, and then further down away from your ears. Two more times. Forward, lift up, back, and down. This is your last one. Forward, up, back, all the way down. Hold them here for a few extra seconds. Three, two, one, and then relax. All right, so feeling that space between your shoulder blades, with a little bit of a pinch. All right, let's move up now to your head, all right? So most of us carry the head too much in the front like this, all right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice this motion forward and back, all right? So I'm gonna stay off to the side, but Linda will stay facing you. So from here, we're gonna basically stick our head forward and then pulling it back. And then again, forward, and pulling it back. Keep going. Forward 
and pulling it back. And you're going to start noticing, keep going at your own pace, that you feel this exercise pretty quickly, right? Those are muscles that they get tense very quickly. So we don't want to do this for too long, but we definitely want to strengthen those muscles that pull the head back because that's where we want to have it. Last one, forward, and then pull it back. And then just relax. Find Shake it neutral. Out a bit. Find All neutral. Right. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Finding the neutral between the front, like a forward position and a back position. All right, we're gonna move now, now to your legs. So for that, we're gonna actually go to the side of our chair as we need a little extra support just in case. All right, so we're gonna start keeping the leg close to the chair stable and the leg away from the chair will be the one that's doing the movement. So the first exercise we're gonna do today is called leg swings. So we're gonna start swinging the leg forward and then back. Relax just at your foot. own pace. Yeah, always at your own pace, okay? Again, just trying to relax and let kind of gravity and momentum open up your hip. And at the same time, as you bring the leg forward, you feel a little bit of a stretch in the back of your leg. I do. So the front of the leg and the back, but especially focusing on the hips. Two more, one, and then two, hold it right here. Second sequence, we call this hip opener. So we're gonna bring the knee up and then open to the side. And again, open to the side. Good. As you do this, you're going to feel that the other side of your body, your left side, wants to kind of follow this momentum, but you're going to lock it in because we want to just open up the right side. Let's do three more. Three, two, last and final. Now here, you're going to place the right leg behind the left like this. You're going to hold on to the chair with your left hand, and the right arm is going to go up and over, almost like in front of your forehead. And you're more than welcome to look up at the hand or just keep looking at us. From here, all you're gonna do, you're gonna push your hips out to the right and then come back. And again, push your hips out to the right, maybe a little bit more, and then back, good. All we're doing here, we're lengthening mm. those muscles around the hip joints because they get super tight, especially as we spend a lot of time sitting, maybe watching TV, maybe driving, working on the computer. Uh, so we wanna make sure that we are, again, opening up the hips. And this is specifically also for the IT band, which is out, right on the outside of your leg. And Let's you can put your more. hand on your hip too, yep. if you like. You don't Absolutely. have to hang out so to the chair. You can use and go the at your own pace. On the chair to give you a little extra push on the outside. We're gonna do that one last time. We're gonna hold it this time for five seconds. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly bring it back and shake those legs out. Yes. Great job, everybody. <laughs> Linda's gonna take over here with an arm sequence. Yeah, let's get some mobility in the upper body. So again, we're gonna start with our arm that's towards the outside. It's our right arm in this case. And we're gonna go ahead and just take that arm and we're gonna circle up and back. And again, let's do it one more time. Take that arm up and back. Now this time, let's reach the arm out to the right, bring the arm up overhead, soft bend in the knees, and then let's sort of round that spine forward a bit. And then as you come up, take the hand back behind your head and now twist at some rotation and look around behind you and come forward. And this time round the elbow kind of down towards the opposite hip, open up and look around behind you. And, and last time, let's round forward. And let's open and look around behind you and let the arm come down and let's try that again. So we're gonna circle that arm up, around and back, opening up the front of the shoulder. One last time, reach it up and around and now reach that arm out to the side, up and over, overhead, slight bend in the knees and now round that spine slightly forward. And then as you lift the spine, hand goes behind the head and then look behind you as you feel stretch in front of the chest. Come forward, elbow towards mm. the opposite hip. And then again, opening back. And one more time, forward. And reach open back and come back center and let that arm go down and give it a little bit of a shake as we ch change and go over to the opposite side of our chair. 
So we're going to start that sequence, that leg swing sequence yep. again, this time on the left side of your chair. So it's again, it's going to be the left leg. So you're just going to start swinging that leg forward and back. And again, just go kind of at your own pace here. You want a slight bend, however, in the right leg. Abs are braced. And again, as Roberto mentioned, as the leg goes back, you're opening up the front of the hip. As the leg comes forward, we feel stretch in the back of that thigh. That's it, getting us ready for the rest of the workout today and opening up those hips. All right, from here, we're gonna open that hip. So bring that knee up and open that leg out to the side. And again, I love this one. It gets oh, yes. to really work this hip through the whole joint here. And again, just at your own pace. We'll do a couple more times. And now let's take that leg around back behind the opposite leg. Again, reach the arm up overhead as you push that hip out to the side. Maybe you hang on to your chair for balance, maybe not. Maybe the hand goes to the hip. And let's do some movement here as we come up. And again, just pushing that hip out to the side. Roberto's adding that breath, which I love. Yes, always having the breath behind the movement. Think of your breath almost like a, a guiding light, right? There you go. I'll take that analogy. Yes. Feeling that stretch along the whole side, the left side of the body there. And yes, nicely done. All right. We're going to come to the front. Oh, we have yep. to do the arm sequence. Yep. Arm sequence on this side. So we repeat it, what we did on the opposite side. So let's go start opening, taking that arm up, around, and back. And again, circling that arm to the back. And this time, let's reach that arm out towards the left. Reach that arm up overhead. And let's round that spine forward. And then as you come up, hand goes behind the head. Open the elbow and look around behind you. And again, rounding forward again. Maybe you hang on to your chair. Maybe you don't need it. Open. Look around behind uh, you one last time. Rounding stretch. elbow towards opposite hip. And opening, looking around behind you. And let the arm go down. Let's do that again. So we circle that arm up, around, and back. And let's reach the arm out to the side and up overhead, and then round that spine forward, bringing that hand back behind the head, adding that rotation, looking around behind you, and then rounding forward, and then opening the elbow, looking around behind one last time, and then look around behind. And yes, let the arms go down, shake them all out. All right. We're going to come now to the front side yes, of our chairs. Let's do it. So we'll start, and again, find a space where you have room. Maybe you can still stand next to your chair. That's totally fine. We're going to combine a deadlift with a wide row here. That's really going to focus on the upper back as well as the hamstrings in the back of the thigh as well and the glutes. So a lot happening on what we call posterior chain here. Okay, so. Feet about hip width apart, okay, abs are braced, you have a slight bend in your knees, and all you're doing is just kind of crease at the hip, slide the hands down the thighs, chin is tucked, looking at the floor, and then coming back up. And again, hinging at the hip. So what I want you to notice here is you want to have a really nice long spine as you do this and then rise back up. So as we, as we rise, we want to keep the pinch between the shoulder blades the whole entire time and rise up. And again, so again, shoulder blades are pinched together. Just crease at that hip, eye gaze down to the floor, and then you come back up. And your hands kind of stop like around, maybe at around the knees, not too much lower than that. Maybe you don't even get that low, and that's fine. Let's go down this time, and let's hold it here this time. And now we're going to add in that wide row, and you're going to take your elbows, pull them up high and wide to the ceiling, kind of like a scarecrow, and then lower the arms down. And again, pull those arms out to the side, wide, 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 and high, and lower down. Now, as you pull the elbows up to the ceiling, feel that pinch between oh, yes. the shoulder blades, and lower down. And again, elbows high, flare that chest open, and lower down. And let's do it one more time at this tempo. And lower down. And now we're going to pulse at the top. We're going to pull up three, two, one, and let's rise up. 
Let's try that again. Excellent. Reset the posture, yes. all right? So let's just try just that hip hinge. So again, just crease at the hip. It's just like you're leaning over, looking right over a ledge, and coming back up again. And again, you have a soft bend in the knees, keeping a nice length in the spine. And notice, chin just goes along for the ride, yes? Look down at the floor and then rise back up. Feel that stretch in the back of the thighs. And then now as you rise, drive the heels into the yep. floor and that'll Feel help you glutes, activate right? the yep. glutes a little bit more. And rise. And this time let's take it down and let's hold it here, right here at the bottom. Give me those wide rows, pull the elbows to the ceiling. Nice scarecrow arms, right? I like to call yep. them scarecrow arms. I know, I pull like those that. elbows up. And again, as you pull the elbows high and wide, pinch those shoulder blades together and lower down one more time like this. And then give us three pulses at the top right here. Pulse it three, two, one. one. Lower the arms and rise up. Nicely done. Excellent, thank you I like that. All right, let's actually now do something again to the, um, right around the side of your chair. So we're going to come to the side of the chair, but this time the leg that's going to be doing the work is, well, they're both going to do the work, yeah. but the one that is going to be moving is going to be the one closer to the chair. So just be aware of that, okay? So let's start with your feet again, shoulders width apart. Now the leg close to the chair is going to take a nice step back, okay? So that you are keeping, I would say, close to 80% of your weight on the front leg. In this case, it is our right leg. Now, with your left, with your right arm, you're going to bring that arm at shoulder's height, like this. All right? Your chest is up, your shoulder's down, your spine is long. From here, we're going to bring up your left knee, and you can almost try to see if you can touch the palm of your hand, and then bring it back down right there. When you bring the le leg down, really think about opening the hip, and opening your left hip, lengthening the spine, and really feel that connection between your toes and all the way up to the tip of your head. Can we try that? Here we go. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, go down. Exhale. Just keep doing this at your own pace as we're going to show you different options for here, right? So what you can do here as you go down, you can bring the arm a little bit higher up, Maybe you can go slightly on a diagonal, okay? But really think about contracting the abdominals and love, nice to hear that beautiful exhale that Linda is, is showing us. As you close, and then as you open, again, think about opening the front of the hip. Now, if you like, you make this a little bit more challenging, you can let go of a chair and use both hands. Uh-oh. Little balance challenge right here, right? Go and for it, Roberto. I know, right? I'm going for it, everyone. You can stay with Linda or follow me. Let's do that four more times. Four and open. Three and open. Two and open. Last one. And rest. Excellent job, everyone. I think let's get a little bit of water right now, right? Let's do that. Okay. Well, let's not forget the other side, so come and join us on the other side of the chair. Got to get both sides in. Oh, absolutely. And again, remember, we're working with the leg closer to the chair, so your right leg in this case. So start with the feet, shoulders width apart, slide the right leg back, I would say maybe like two or three feet, okay? And then extend your left arm about shoulder height, palms down, shoulders down and back, spine is long and then let's again exhale as you bring the knee up you touch the ta and tap and then bring it back down as you open the hip and let's do that again nice and slow and control and then again pick up at your own pace make sure you exhale as you contract the abdominals as you bring the knee up and then inhale as you open and then you can kind of reach a little bit further away from you with your um, left arm and then if you like you can join me and do this a little bit more advanced option where I'm using both hands and I'm not holding on in the chair so a little bit more of a balanced challenge let's open up for four three big exhale two contract the abdominals and one more and you're done 
Great yeah. work, everybody. Shake it all around. We got something really special coming your way now. <laughs> so we're kind of going to incorporate that hip hinge that we did earlier. Yep. And we're going to do some arms, which we are calling YTM arms. <laughs> okay. Why are we calling them YTM arms? Because we're going to show them to you now. Yep. First thing you're going to do is you're going to give us like hitchhiker. Hitchhiker hands, yep. right? We love hitchhiking, hitchhiking, hitchhiking. Thumbs hitchhiking. Up. Yeah, okay. So then from here, your Y, feet are going to be about hip width apart. Y, yep, we make a Y. Thumbs go back. You come to T, where do they go? Out to the sides. And then M, where are they going to go? Down and out. Yes, so try that again. So with the Y, remember, thumbs always go back. Think about that. Thumbs go back. And even on the M, you want thumbs yes. going back. So we open up the chest, all right? So those are your YTM arms. We're showing those to you standing because when we hinge forward, you're probably not going to be looking at us. Yep. You're going to be looking more down towards the floor with your eye gaze. So again, we're going to start those feet about hip width apart. All right, now we're going to hinge and again, crease at the hip. Now it's up to you sort of how far you want to crease at the hip. A little relaxed knee though. And let's get those hitchhiker hands ready and let's go for the Y. So we arms go up into the Y, come back center, out to the T, back center, and to the M, back center. Try it again to the Y yes. and out to the sides. T, open that chest. M, open that chest. One last time, let's go for a Y. And what is it? A T. What's next? M. And the M. And reset and come oh, up. Yes. Good. Shake the arms out a bit. And Can we'll we try again? that again. Yeah. Oh, yes. You're not getting off that easy. I We're know. doing that again. This is great work. We said it's a posture video, right? Posture workout, yep. great work for the upper back here. Yeah, right and there. the posture, yes. So we're again we're gonna crease, hinge at the hip. Again, just like you're gonna look over the ledge, get those hitchhiker thumbs going, and let's go for the Y. It's a Y and a T, and the M, and let's do that again. It's a Y, and a T, and an M. Try it one more time. Now as the arms go up, pinch the shoulder blades together there, and there, and there, and reset, come oh, up. Yes. Circle those shoulders, shake those arms out. We've got one more time, let's right? Do it one more time. Why? Three because of, number. Yep, because the first time you learned it, Second time you owned it, and this time we're going to crush it. Let's crush it. Here we go. So, again, crease at that hip, hinge forward, hitchhike your thumbs, and let's go up to the Y and out to the T, pinching those shoulder blades together. Open that chest. You can say it with us T. That's a Y. Oh, Y. Sorry, my alphabet today was a little bit wrong. One last time. And the M. And slowly rise up and circle the awesome. shoulders up, All back, right. and down. YTM, don't yeah. forget that. Well, let's stay in a standing position, and this time we're going to work side to side. So it's lateral, core. right for core obliques. Remember, core is a vital part of your perfect posture. All right, so let's start with your feet, shoulders width apart, okay? Hands down to the side, but palms towards us. So you're going to bring your shoulders up and back and set them right there. And then all we're gonna do from here, keeping those knees slightly bent, you're gonna laterally bend to the right, then center, and then to the left, and center. And we're gonna keep doing this again, down to the right, center, left, and center. Again, softening the knees, core is engaged, okay, spine is long, neck is just a continuation of your spine. Beautiful, let's do four more. Three, two, one. Excellent. Second part, we call this the halo. Now, Linda's going to show you this variation with the hands on her hips, whereas I'm going to keep my hands behind my head. All right, that. Knees are soft. Now, we're going to do circles with our torso. We're going to come down to the right first, right? So down to the right, around, and back four times. That's two, and you can explore all the different angles and areas of this movement. One more, and then all we're gonna do is stop right here and switch direction. Here we go, to the left. And again, notice the difference. One side is always gonna feel a little bit easier or more challenging than the other. Two more rounds, everyone. 
last one maybe go a little bit bigger this time and then reset in the center Oof. and let it go feeling Shake that it one all right let's start again this time we're going to start on your left side all right so palms forward shoulders down and back knees are soft spine in long ready yep. let's begin to the left and center to the right and center left good maybe this time we can try to go a little bit lower think about those fingertips reaching down towards the floor all right last four here they come here is four and three and two and one and rest halo again linda option hands on the hip roberto hands on the back we're gonna start going down to your left ready here we go so go down to your left come forward up backwards around and repeat good again you are in charge of this in the sense that you can go really big or small okay you do you all right we have one more round here and then we're gonna switch direction all right let's switch direction everybody almost here we go reverse it and back that's it and back again keep those knees soft your spine is still long two more this is one here's your final round everyone and then back to the center and Oof. shake it all around Feel all right that. let's take a seat everyone let's go take a seat on our chair all right you're gonna seat um, of course to the front of the chair okay and we're gonna go back to those YTM that Linda did a short while ago but we're only gonna be doing the Y <laughs> and then we're gonna do a W so slightly different all right so what we're gonna do from here as we keep our spine always long and lengthen palms towards again us again and you're gonna lift the arms up above your head palms towards us now turn and then pull the elbows into a w with your elbow very close keep that squeeze in, in the middle of your back for three two one release the arm again and then raise the arms up above your head palms towards us and then imagine you're pulling something down into a w or like i like the scarecrow too i like that spread those fingertip fingers and then squeeze in the middle of your back three two one release let's do that again one last time all the way up this Ready? is the y yeah that's the y right here and then pull 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 elbows in keep that squeeze right in the middle of your back between your shoulder blades for two one well i think we should do it one last time okay just like the icing on the cake ready here we go lift the arms up into the beautiful y right there and then pull the elbows in towards your rib cage keep lengthening the spine squeeze between the shoulder blades for three two one release Ooh, baby. whoa lots of work in the upper back today yes last and final for me we're gonna do something called angel wings all right so we're gonna start by bringing the hands in front of your face like this palms facing you elbows together okay now we're gonna do this slow and then we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit you're gonna lift the arms above your head open the elbows and create those beautiful wings that we all have and then we're gonna <laughs> close it and then do that again slow and control and now we're gonna do it a little bit faster here we go one and good and then you, when you open those angel wings really drive the movement from the elbows and engage that space between your shoulder blades you feel it you owning it and remember now you're crushing it right in a good way of course again for three squeeze two and one more and set them in and relax Whoa. ah Woo. Definitely felt that. My back feels worked. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and stretch out a little bit here. Yes. Okay, keeping that nice, really long spine. You're just going to take your eye gaze. You're just going to turn your head to the right side. And then you're going to drop your chin down towards your shoulder as your eye gaze goes down to the floor, feeling that nice stretch along the side of the neck. And then lifting the chin up and taking the head back center. And we go to the opposite side. So look the opposite direction and drop the chin down towards the shoulder. Eye gaze again, going down towards the floor. 
and then lifting the chin up and taking it back center one more time on each side. So let's look to the right side and drop the chin down towards the shoulder and lifting the chin up, coming back center. One last time, the opposite side. Look over the shoulder, drop the chin down and lift the chin up and take back center. All right, one last stretch for you here, actually, before we go into some yep. more stretches to cool you down. But you're gonna drop your right ear towards your shoulder as you lift the left ear right up to the ceiling. Oh, amazing. So I know, you wanna keep that really still nice length in mm -hmm. your spine and feel a nice stretch there along the whole side of that neck. And then lift that ear up, head up, and switch sides. Right ear, lift it, pull. It's like you're, something's pulling that ear yeah. right up towards the ceiling. And come back center one more time on each side. Excellent. Right ear goes down, lift that left ear. You can close your eyes if you like. And head comes back center. And one last time, ear goes up. Shoulders stay down away from the ears and lift the head back up center. Yeah, and circle the shoulders out a little bit there. Get a little bit of movement in them, yeah? Awesome job. So from now, let's just take your hands. Your yeah, feet are gonna be about hip width apart and let's stretch out that back a bit because it yes. worked a lot today. Sure okay, did. so we're just gonna kind of roll down as we roll down, chin goes to the chest. Those hands come down, slide down the legs. And let's just hang out here for a little bit. You want to feel those shoulder blades really pull apart now. You feel a nice stretch all up and down that whole spine. And then slowly roll back up. And resetting the shoulders. Let's try that one more time as we roll down. Drop the chin to the chest and then slowly roll that spine down towards the floor. Hang out here just a little bit longer, feeling that nice stretch. Again, all up and down that whole spine, that back to work a lot today. <sighs> and slowly rolling back up. Nicely done. Let's take that right leg. Let's open it out to the side. So you're kind of going to face the diagonal corner. We scoop forward a little bit in our chairs. Hands come on your thighs. And let's drop the back shoulder or your right shoulder towards the opposite knee. And again, you can take that rotation to the whole spine. So even through your head, you can just look around behind you. And come up and change sides. Oh, yeah. I got a little crack there. Mm -hmm. I got a little adjustment. I heard it. And come on back center. Good. Let's just take that front leg and scoot it back around behind you as we open up the front part of the hip and front part of the thigh. And now we're going to take the hands in front of us and we're going to drop the chin to the chest as we pull the shoulder blades apart and then maybe even lean back a little bit mm. to intensify that Ooh. stretch in front of the body. It's a double whammy. and then come back up. Now you can hang out right here if this is good for you and continue just holding this nice stretch here or if you'd like, you can add some rotation with us. So what we're gonna do is keep the length in the spine nice and long and we're gonna look around. You'll look to the back of the room. So you look around away from us and we're gonna grab both sides of our chair and get that nice rotation through the spine. And let's release and take it back center. Come all the way around to the front and let's repeat that sequence again. So roll the shoulders back and down, feet about, you know, hip width apart, okay? And let's just roll down. So we're gonna tuck our chin and then roll through that upper back, through that middle back, feeling that nice stretch down the back of the slit, back of the spine. <sighs> feeling that in my lower back and let's roll back up nice and slow. And again, set the shoulders back one last time. Chin goes to the chest first as you round that spine forward. Initially, I felt this a little bit more in my upper back, but now I feel it in my lower yeah. back a little bit more. 
I guess I can round forward now that I stretched mm -hmm. it out a bit, huh? Roll forward a little bit more and then roll back up. And let's go ahead and open one leg out to the sides. We're going to kind of go to the diagonal corner here. Hands go to the thighs and let's drop the back shoulder towards the front leg. And again, you can take that rotation all the way through the spine and maybe look around behind you and come back center and opposite side. And take it back up center and take that front leg, scoot around back behind you, opening up the front of that hip. Hands can come together in front and again, you can pull those shoulder blades apart and then maybe lean back a little bit at the same time. And come on up. And then maybe you just continue to hang out right here. Or if you want to add the extra rotation with us, we're going to turn here and turn around, look to the back of the room. So you're going to look away from oh. us. We grab the sides of our chair. This is my favorite <sighs> stretch right now. <laughs> and let's take it around back center. And let's bring those feet in together. And let's roll those shoulders back and down. And we want to set that posture right yes, before absolutely. we leave today. So um, spine is nice and long. Let's just do a few shoulder rolls. Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. And again, so how do you feel? Yeah. Do you have the posture right now of a princess <laughs> or a prince, prince, maybe? One last time. Shoulders up, back, and down. Fabulous. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to working out with you again. See you next time. Take care.